Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome, check it out. We're at this little park. Been here before. Have a zoo, wildlife refuge. Starts right here. You can see all kinds of critters and fishes. And it's just a neat little place. Not too many people uh, know about this. They got little pathways. Let's take a little walk. Look at this day. Picture perfect. For January, it is definitely chilly. We had that snowstorm the other day. Look at that Got a fishing pole. This is it, kayaking, canoeing. This is what Havasu is really about. You know, everyone goes to the bridge, yeah. But there's all kinds of these places around here to explore. They got these little covers here. I mean, you can come out even in the heat. I've been out here all different times of the year. Desert habitat. And you do, I've seen a lot of bunnies and little critters running around. It's kind of cool. What a place for them to live, huh? And it's neat they preserve this stuff for us to enjoy. Their signs are getting pretty faded in the sun. You know, have a suit in the summertime, you're 115 degrees plus. <laughs> Even with all this water. But what a boater town. Boats galore. I just seen online they're going to have their big uh, fishing tournament here this spring. We'll hike up that top of that hill in a minute. Look at this little dock down here that you can fit fishing dock. Always see people down here. What's this one say? The Colorado runs through it. That's right. Colorado River creates Lake Havasu. Clear down at Parker Dam. This lake is, oh my gosh, miles and miles long. Goes a long ways. The history, it's vast, everything. Look at all the different fish. Oh no, I had most of my luck fishing at the grocery store. <laughs> at the seafood counter. But come on out here and enjoy. Look how crystal clear that water, how flat it is, not much wind today. It's supposed to be a storm coming in this weekend. This calming, just to come down here and sit and enjoy. This is right off the London Bridge Road. Kind of halfway between where Walmart is and the London Bridge itself. Well, let's hike up top of that hill. Get a little panoramic view before we get out of here. Anyway, this was a neat stop. Show you a little bit of the sights around Havasu a little bit besides a bridge. Right down there, there's the fishing pier, dock, whatever you want to call it, floating dock. Little coves you can go in. You can launch your kayaks over there. Back towards that way, there's the big town. Another fisherman coming down to fish. Really popular here. There's four-wheel trails, not right in here. You can't bring a motorized vehicle in here, but there's four-wheel trails all over through here, too. 
All right, well, let's cruise back to the van. Maybe let's go up to the state park, explore around there a little bit. But definitely check out Havasu uh, across the water there. That's California. Colorado River creates it. But there's wildlife, all kinds of places to get down here. You can hike down all along the, the lake, mile after mile, the shoreline. Then if you want an audience, look at that. Look at them homes with the swimming pools and the views. That is high rent district there. All kinds of storage buildings for boats, RV parks, mobile home parks. Then you got the shorelines of Havasu. Pretty cool, huh? Well, let's head down to the state park. It's, it's always nice to visit there and, uh, just for the day. I'm not going to camp there. A lot of people do. That is extremely popular. You'll see it up here. Temperature right now, we're at about 52 degrees. I've seen boaters line up clear up to uh, Highway uh, 95. <laughs> I mean, they come streaming in from California and all over the place. This is Boater Central. They have two massive boat launches here. And boy, do they pack them in all year long, especially in the summer. People don't realize how many people come here in the summertime, even with all the heat. All right, let me get checked in. We'll go cruise the park. How's it going? Good. What can I help you with? Just if you're wondering, it's fifteen dollars for a day use pass. I think camping's about thirty or forty bucks. You can check it online, but you need reservations. This thing is always full. You have to book here a lo uh, quite a ways in advance to get a campsite. Right up here, here's their cabins. Let's cruise through the loop here. They got campsites and cabins you can rent. Once again, I don't know what they charge. It's a state park, so it's not too out of line. You can see you get, you're right here on the water too. There's some happy campers, there's a van. Now here's their little cabins. You can rent. But what a neat place. Bring the family down. You can see you're right along the water. Look at that guy. He's got a Class C with a cabin. <laughs> of course, you can bring in a lot of people to help cover the cost. There you go. Not too many in here. I don't see too many cars, but I bet this weekend it'll be full, full. Looks like more campsites here in the end. All right. Let's keep cruising. This park is long. It's a few miles long. I'm guessing at least three, somewhere around there. Of course, my guessments aren't always right. Off to the left, right there, that's where the rangers live. Oh, here's that little, oh, we gotta check this out. Look at this, there's a cactus garden right here, right here on the right. Aurora de Camino. <laughs> cactus garden, look at this. 
Look how well done. Look how clean. Wow, look at the colors. Look at the red cactus. My goodness. Purple. Not red. Look at these guys. Are they happy or what? Always wanted to stop here. Take a little walk. What is desert? Okay. So this is like Shangri-La desert here. Look at this thing. I've always seen people in here work in the garden. Wow. How different. Boy, could you spend a half a day in here or even the whole day? There's trails through here. Desert Discovery. This is absolutely beautiful in here. You even got some shade. Look at this. Desert plants. Wow, look how the color of that picnic table stands out against all the green and brown. Boy, there's one beat up old cat. Look at that thing. There's more bird holes than that. And that's like a big old birdhouse, isn't it? What's over here? Another garden area. Well, what do you say? Let's go up top. Walk up. Well, we're almost up here. What a view, huh? There it is. Lake Havasu. I'm not going to hike any farther. Let's go back down. What a neat little park here, huh? Cactus area. Garden. <laughs> and there's mighty Havasu itself. Jeez. I never knew this was this big. I've driven past this a few times. All right, well, let's keep on marching. So for day use, this is cool. A lot of people just think it, this is all for boating and camping, but, and they have annual passes too. If you go online, they got two different levels of pass. The one's uh, all year round and the other one you can do off like uh, when there isn't holidays and stuff like that. I think that one's 75 bucks. I kind of checked that out a year ago. Then the other one's a couple hundred dollars if you want the full annual pass to get in here. Plus, I think those passes are good for more than just one state park. Arizona does it right, though. Cool. Then they got this parking right across the street here. Looks clear. All right. Let's keep on going. Let's go find one of them lighthouses. I am glad I stopped there. What a cool place. Getting closer to the water. Oh, here's more campground. This is the big campground here. Want to drive through it? Say yay, yay. Yeah, quite a few rigs in here. Look at that motor home. He's all set up. Got the windshield pointed right at the water. Why not? How often you're gonna get to do this? We'll cut through here. 
I bet uh, sites cost more in the water. Probably harder to get to. You could probably beach your boat. If you had a boat, you could probably beach it. Right by your campsite, I bet. Maybe not. For sure them little canoes and kayaks. You see a lot of people doing the kayak thing. Always fishing. Nice van set up there. There you go. Well, there's a good low look. What's it like to camp here at Havasu State Park? Right within the town limits, too. Those people are getting set up. Cool. Here's one of them boat launches. Look how huge this thing is. And it gets packed. They can, I mean, they line up on the weekends. I've seen this lake so full of boats you can walk across it. <laughs> Look, you can launch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lanes of boat. Oh, there's a lighthouse right there. We'll see what this one here. Here's one of these rock jetty protecting the launch the winds get screaming this lake gets get really choppy I've seen two three foot swells out here here's another one of these little lighthouses very well done they all got names with little plaques on it Cape Henry Lighthouse right here they're just miniature replicas but look at the view Right over there, there's a campground we just drove through. So there's your view at night. Talk about sunsets too, sunrises. This is a photographer's dream here. Capture a good sunset right across the water, right that direction. Lake Havasu at its finest. There's the boat that goes over to the California side to the casino. There's that Crazy Horse Campground, and this is the end of uh, the park right here. Look at that lighthouse. We're going to check that out. Straight across California. And there's a good look how what the size of that boat launch is. Isn't that amazing? Look at the amount of parking here, too. Just huge. Let's see what this one says. We're right at the very end of the... Havasu State Park. This is also the entry to the man-made uh, channel that goes underneath the London Bridge. Look at this one. Against that blue sky. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Wow. They really take good care of these things. A little dock, sitting by the dock. <laughs> Not bad. What a life, huh? To live here. Oh good, here comes uh, one of those boats, tour boats. They actually service uh, the California side. All the school kids come over here to go to school. 
because get over to that other side on California, that is a very long drive. You have to go clear up to I-40, almost in the needles, and down uh, the California side. Miles-wise, it's a long, long ways to get over to the... Uh, I think it's called Havasu Landing over there. It's either that or you take a 10-minute boat ride here. It costs two bucks to go over in that thing. It's well worth it that you can go to the Indian Casino over there, get something to eat. There's like a little hardware store. I've filmed that before a year or two ago. But what a way to end the day here, huh? Watch that boat just drift straight across. Be sure to check out the next video. Talk soon.